It has been four days now since a recent Everman High School graduate disappeared while kayaking on Benbrook Lake. Family and friends of Jose Reyes are devastated, but they're also frustrated, saying the game warden's office isn't putting enough resources into this search. Our Lauren Zakalik has been following the story all week. Lauren, what's the family saying? Well, Izzy, essentially the brother said he feels like volunteer searchers are doing more here at Benbrook Lake to find his brother Jose than the authorities are. He says sometimes when they look out on the water, all they see is one boat at a time searching. As you can imagine, the family of Jose Reyes is struggling right now. Nobody has seen Jose since Sunday night when he was kayaking with friends and he disappeared while on the water. Since then, Texas Parks and Wildlife, the Benbrook Fire Department and the Army Corps of Engineers have been searching for him, but he has not turned up. An hour ago, we spoke with the game warden, Captain Cliff Swafford, who explained they are doing all they can to find Jose. It is a tough lake to search. He said there are so many trees under the water that they cannot use the preferred specialized sonar. He says he understands the family's frustration, but says they are committed to finding Jose. The resources that we're using are the same amount of resources really that we always have. What we see in the past is more, it looks like a lot more because when this typically happens is more on a holiday weekend and there's a lot of different agencies out, so there's a lot of people already there. We haven't been really getting any, um, you know, feedback from them or uh, really any help from them. Um, it's been mainly just volunteers going out, you know, searching, um, giving us, you know, feedback. The game warden says their hearts go out to this family and they say they do welcome the additional help in searching. They also pointed out, however, that if there are too many boats on the water searching at a time, it may interfere with the sonar that they are able to use. So please, they said, if people are helping, just listen to law enforcement if they need you to clear the area. It is just a really, really tough situation out here, guys. Back to you. Certainly is, Lauren. Let's just hope that that family gets the answers they're looking for. Thank you so much.